morning, or good afternoon. This is not a test. We are telling you how alternates change through the past months. Alternates was just regular creatures who are tall and black, but suddenly, due to the climate change where they live, they change. But how do we get this information? Well, thanks to our brilliant scientist, we got our answers here. She said that uh, due to the climate and change to the alternates, they have adapted, including forest, water, volcanic and places, cities, or even ice. This may sound a bit strange, but here are, are what the alternates look like through their experiences. A runner alternate is a good example of a cheetah. Their intelligence are 28, attacks, claws, and teeth. Their speed is like a velociraptor. Their height is the same thing as a palm tree. They use their frills to scare off enemies. Bioluminous alternates use to scare their enemies with their lights. They have antennas to see where they're going. Their intelligence are 23, attacks, claws, speed is 12 to 14, height is a palm tree, or they could use their light to show affection. The sea alternates are excellent swimmers in the oceans. Their intelligence are 20, their speed is 16, their attacks are their claws and fins, their height is like a palm tree. Their knee fins are very sharp, able to kick its enemies in order to stab them. Canopy alternates are excellent loopers and climbers due to their claws and feet. Their intelligence are 63, their attacks are claws and tails. Speed is 26 to 30, height is a palm tree. They use their tears to attack their enemies with. Fire alternates only live in, in volcanic places. Their intelligence are 32 attacks, breath fire, the speed is 12 to 20, and their height is like a palm tree. Beware of their claws, they might able to burn you. The ice alternate is a very good example of a polar er, bear, but with tucks. Their intelligence are 28, their attacks are their teeth, including tusk, and their speed is 16, and their height is a palm tree. They use their claws to mobilize and freeze their enemies.